it's a long one. And so they have to do a huge time change. The food's different. The sleeping's different. It, it's just all so difficult. Uh, but they just do such a world-class job of it. Oh, what a start. Samilov's with a kill block to open the scoring. Latvia serving first in the red vest. You talk about consistency and confidence as after a start like that. Absolutely. And I love volleyball at this level for so long. So Alexander Samoylov's in 2008, he and Martin Slavins became the youngest team in beach volleyball history to qualify for an Olympics. And so we are now 14 years later, and here he is in the game. And, and he plays in so many tournaments. So when you go down three or four, and you've played as much volleyball as Samoylov's has. Courts two and three are also available as part of your subscription. But of course, you're going to stick with us on centre court. I don't blame you either. Lovely shot up the line. and Good defence to keep the ball alive and to win the point and level the game. Smedins, he has earned that point. What a dig from Giannis Smedins. My goodness gracious. And you can see George was wondering if he actually got the ball just coming from Samoylov's errors. And if you're Latvia, that's almost a great sign that this match is as close as it is with, with how poorly Samoylov's is playing on an offensive end. And there is a sixth error as anyone in the world, not named Sweden. So the, the Swedish kids, Jonathan Helvig and David Amman, they, they, are, they took optioning to an entirely different level this summer so far. But they got their style of play. They almost took it from the Latvia playbook, and they said, we're going to do that, but 10 times more. A little bit out of bounds. It's not that these errors have been abominable errors. They've all been the right shots and the right swings. They've just missed by two or three inches. And so the margin of error is very, very small and they're just on the wrong side of it. And and if you're Brazil, I mean, you just see Latvia making plays like that. The shoot set over to Alex Samoylovs, which left a, a wide open net for Smedins, and that's just what this creative offense from Latvia creates. So Smedins with the serve at 12-10. If you're a blocker, which is invaluable height when you're only six foot three at the net and you're trying to block a six foot seven Andre Loyola. It's, and it's especially difficult because what Andre's done is he has swung on probably 80% of his attacks. And so you could see, if we were to see that replay again, that Samoylovs was dug in for a swing. And to, to get on your toes and move forward to get that cut shot is such a difficult. I would think that this is the good side for Latvia. So you always want the wind in your face because it, it, it forces the ball, it, it moves your float serves a little bit more, and you can hit it a little bit harder into the wind because the wind will push it down. And it looks like the sets are nudging just a little bit off the net. I thought that ball had gone long and we might be looking down the barrel of another 5-2 switch, but not this time. 15-12. And that one sent into the crowd. Too hot for Smedins pull the pass or push the pass rather to Smedens' sideline and then Smedens will either have the option or the jump set and all three are available but there's George again with another dig hammered down the line it's a good idea just to reset it and a five point lead this late in the set you, at this point, you're almost looking to just get some momentum. And George, he doesn't care about the timeout. He is not iced from the service line at all. Cannot direct it back to his partner, 18-12. This time they pick out Smedins, who swings down the middle. That one kisses the line on the way through. Kept a lot of the pressure on Alexander Samuelas. And you can see why the big offensive range that even when he's a little bit off the net and Andre's able to, to pull off, Smedins is able to find that deep seam. Cross court. Brazil have produced some magic. They're 19 13 to the good. And there's no official stat on this in beach volleyball, but I have a, a very subjective theory that George hits more lines than anyone in the world of beach volleyball. You can see how many swings and serve he hits that. And they've got a good few goes at it at least. Here comes the serve. It's on Samoylovs, who swings to stay in the set. It's blocked, it drops, and that's the first set point saved. It took us from 5-2 to 
to 7-7. Seven, seven. Latvia haven't really been able to get any momentum. Right, second set point is smashed on Samoylovs. I love watching these two teams play one another because it, it's a, just such a contrast in styles of play. If you're just popping in float serves that, and the other team is staying in system, you might as well miss the serve in the first place. And that is a huge swing. Well, he was threatening to do that for most of the first set, but they were just the wrong side. Another heavy serve. Brazil with a bit of work to do here, and Samoylovs comes up with a monster block. And, but I, I want to say, what a set from George to put Andre back up in staying disciplined and fundamental and putting his hands exactly where he needed them, where Andre would have needed kind of a, a lucky break to, to get around Samoylovs, and Samoylovs didn't give it to him. And even with that, George Latvia is still taking the lead. 4-3. Giannis Vedens' defense from making Brazil trying to do something a little bit extra, and now that they've opened up a three-point lead. A bit of variety with the serve there from Samoylovs. He's at the back of the court, keeping the ball alive. Now it's a swing to win the point, but he gets blocked by Andre. You mentioned in the first set was the gap between the blocks of Andre and the blocks between Samoylovs and Smedens. And Andre is doing such a good job of oh, getting in the face. And back. there we see again. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that normal humans oh that's a big swing and he's kissed the line beautiful shot in response off gets up makes the block that is enormously skilled but very enormously is the right word and, and you could see that he was stuck in no man's land george what Wanderley. A goodness gracious oh and he's oh hit the winner gosh brazil within a point Smedins goes on the second ball and gets shut down. You can see that that play from Smedins, so he's the right sider, and he takes that takes that pass, passes it into the middle of the court, and then runs a back shoot set. And so we haven't seen that from Latvia, and that is an enormous <laughs> swing. 11-10, Latvia leads. Smedins with the first serve after the change of ends. He gets hands to it, but not a lot else. That was on him pretty quickly. Final two steps and a whip of an arm. 11-11, we are all square once again. Oh, that wasn't the cleanest of passes, but recovered well. Oh, that is well won. That is so well won by Samoylovs. Some call, any call because you just don't see it. And they're like, that has to be against the rules somehow. But it's just not. It's just so creative. Well, Andre comes back and wins the point to level it. But his body language when he saw that ball. One set behind. Brazil taking the first 21-15 in this race for the top of Pool E. Taking all the heat off it so Smedins can get a hand to it and then swing. But... We've talked about Aries, how they're just these gift wrap presents that you want to cherish. That is one they will certainly cherish this late in the set. Oh, another block, and Samoylovs does so well to keep it alive. And then it's put back on the first ball. From practice, and, and again, that goes back to that error from Smedin. So instead of a 14-12 lead, now they're down 14-13. That was Smedin swinging from deep there. There's the dig. Where does it drop? Just long, and Smedin's... Unlucky. And as you run out of points towards the end of the set, any error is compounded. Again, it is inch perfect. And that's what George does. If you've never seen George play, you'd say, wow, this guy's getting kind of lucky. He keeps hitting these perfect shots. And that's just what George Wanderley does all the time. Smedins tries to take the heat off it. Big ask now for Latvia. Still a job to be done for Brazil. That top spinning serve. And just too good. Smedin scrambles. So difficult to deal with. And Brazil turning it on at the end of this second set. Samoylovs looking to stop the rot. Oh, but he cannot because George has turned up. Well, these two one runs all the time. They'll, they'll side out and earn a point sat out and earn a point and then just like that it's a five point lead in a match that seemed very close well this is the first match point 
And the first chance to swing for it. And, well, he is human after all. And Brazil looked for a little bit of tempo there. It looked like maybe a little bit too high. Uh, that said, it was a little bit higher than George wanted, but doesn't matter. Andre Lola, he's there to put it away. They, they weren't going to give away five match points in a row with how well they're playing. And they're, they're number one in the world for a reason there.